Wow. Uh, global. Get your pitchforks out lately? What's going on everyone? Talon back here and today, oh my god, Christmas in America has been a little crazy right now. I'm not going to even lie because it's the 26th over in Japan and information is dropping like no tomorrow. We have all of the information for the brand new cards coming for the New Year's events. Oh my gosh, we don't even know if this is technically the beginning of year three or if year three will be afterwards. We have no idea. We don't have any ideas to this. So, oh my god, yes, I'm going to jump right back into the computer room of my family's place and we are making more recordings. So, let's go with it right now. So, first off, let us begin with the big man himself, the Vegito Blue right here. Of course, we're going to be going with the TUR status because there's really no point. If you are not able, if you want to see the full page of translations, I put the posted them on my Twitter page, so go ahead and check those out. There was one mistake I'll make, I made, and I will correct it here in this video real quick. So, first off, for the Super Vegito Blue, or Vegito Blue, technically. I don't know why I'm saying Super Vegito. Super Vegito is my favorite character, so what can you say? Anyway... It is all, so we're going to be looking at the leisure scale, the S attack, and all that stuff. Uh, there is one thing to note with his links, actually, but everyone else's links are fairly common, I think, what you'd expect from this right now. But first off, let's go over the Vegito Blue. So first off, it is going to be Super Types, Key plus 3, HP attack and defense of 100%, 20%, but it does not end there. That is the second part of the kanji. If you look at this sec this first part right here, if I can zoom in a bit, uh, if, of course, my phone wants to work for me. Um, so this part right here, this top line where it says Cho, okay, so super types essentially, it's saying that if you have super, t if you have a super team, okay, so this isn't a category or anything like that, but if you have a team of all types and they are super, then all super types get HP attack and defense up 120% and plus three key. So how are you going to be able to tell if you have a super a total super tight team? Well, the best way that I can personally think of, unless they, of course, tell you somehow, uh, you know, maybe, maybe make a new change or something like that, is that if you guys remember the, uh, the like, the San, uh, uh, what was it, like, ex extinction event and stuff like that, where it automatically forced you to start taking rainbow teams when you got to a certain stage and everything like that. So maybe they'll highlight it or something if you have one of these guys as your leader. But nonetheless, the way it's basically, basically, if you want to think of it that way, just think, okay, I need to have one of every type. So obviously agility, strength, physical, int, and tech type. So that's five right there, okay? So obviously you get six that you could pick plus your friend. Your friend doesn't obviously count, so, or at least in terms of type, obviously you'd be picking the Vegito Blue. But what I'm saying is that basically Vegito Blue is going to be your physical type. So that's one physical type. But that's a, that's your leader right there. So the rest of the five need to be your rainbow team, essentially, like that. Now, again, that means you can have another physical type. So let's say, for example, you want to do physical Vegito Blue and physical uh, SSJ3 Go Tanks. Then for the agility, you'd pick, I don't know, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I'm just taking throwing a random example out here for right now. I don't know who would be the best team or anything like that. STR, you know, maybe Ultimate Gohan or something like that, depending on how the links are going to work for you or something. Uh, then your int type is going to be probably Super Gogeta, right? Your uh, tech type will probably be SSJ4 Gogeta. And then, uh, who am I missing? Agility, Strength. I think I got, got everyone. But yeah, anyway, so there you go. That would be basically a team right there. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe when this leader comes out, they're going to update it to where you can be like, okay, it's going to have this little bit of a color around the rim or something like that. And that's how it can work, essentially, okay? So that is probably how it's going to go um, in terms of how you would want to make his team. Uh, in terms of his uh, essay attack is that he has the Kaioken mechanic. He raises his attack and defense. Raises those attack and defense. Not greatly or anything, just simply raises attack and defense. And it goes up every turn. And he does, of course, immense damage. Well, this dude's looking broken already, I'm not going to lie. So let's look at his passive, though, because his passive is definitely something different. Real quickly, actually, before we go into the passive real quick, in terms of his links, his SSR form has prepared for battle. He loses prepared for battle and gets super fierce battle. He's, you know, fierce battle as we all know it. This actually isn't that bad, considering the fact that a lot of top-tier hero cards right now have over in a flash, which is his main key link. And, of course, you know, like Super Saiyan and things like that, which give him the plus one key, if I remember correctly... Or he's not happy. Okay. But he's also got fusion and everything. So obviously you're going to have like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on there. It's, it's going to be fine, obviously. It's, it's honestly going to be fine. Is that, you know, the person, you know, that I would maybe worry about is if you put maybe Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Vegeta on there, depending on your team. 
But overall, it's actually not too bad that he has, uh, he has prepared for battle. Again, taking a wild guess. We'll have to see when he comes out. So don't let him freak out or anything like that, okay? That was my one mistake right there that I made in my translations, okay? Going on to his passive skill, okay? If you take a look at the passive skill here, we're going to zoom in a little bit. And, of course, remember, this is for TUR form, not his, uh, not his, SSR, or not his SSR form, okay? He has, knows the kanji again, Cho and Taka, okay? Two kanji right there, super and high, okay? So super high chance to do two, up to two additional attacks right there. Made, okay, if you know the, if you know uh, any hiragana, you know that Made means up until, it means until there. Um, and then also, it's a medium chance, knows the kanji for Chu, okay? You got the box with the line through it. Chu, okay, uh, chance to do a super attack, uh, so we're gonna. So he'll have a medium chance to do a super attack, which is above his uh, previous physical counterpart. Physical had a Toki Doki time, which is kind of like uh, I want to say around a twenty percent chance or so to do a super attack. This guy has a Chew, which is around I'm gonna say thirty percent, forty percent, give or take. I'm not sure exactly what the percents are, but he has a medium chance to do it. That is where it comes in right there. Okay, um, to do that, and every this is the this is the big one right here. Every time he attacks. His attack goes up by 15% for a total of 150%. So those additionals are going to be coming in handy. I still don't know if I would go 60 and, or 60, if I go 20 and 6, you know, 20 additional, 30, um, or 6 for the critical or something like that. I'm still probably going to go 15 and 11 because 15 and 11 is still a great chance. He's already doing two additional attacks and just by having a little bit of a higher chance to do one more additional, it doesn't make much sense. I'd rather have him doing a little bit more damage personally for me, but that is just my personal opinion. You want to go over the, the additional attacks? By all means, go ahead. Not saying you have to do one over the other. So a lot, I'm going to see probably a lot of different people doing whatever they want to do. Again, we'll have to see exactly what happens there, okay? Uh, and you can go up to a total of 150%. Dude's going to be powerful. Dude is going to be powerful. Not to mention he's going to be on UI Goku's team. If UI Goku ever does get a Doken Awaken, that's going to be an even bigger boost. Uh, who else could he be? He'd be on Pataras, but that's also another 120%. I don't think... He, yeah, so so far his best leader is still going to be a 120%. So he's just going to be the leader for himself, basically. I am wondering if this is going to bring back a lot of Rose and Vegito Blue leads. Obviously the new ones, not the old ones. But if we're finally going to start seeing something besides your typical Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas and everything like that, again, hard to say. We'll have to see. So that is it right there for him. And we're going to move on to the Rosé if my phone wants to go. Okay, we're going on to the Rosé, which I have to admit, it, both these guys' arts look amazing. I cannot deny that. So, and of course, the link is, you know, obviously the website's kind of like, uh, right now. So, all right, here's Rosé. And he's got the scythe, just like he does in Fighters and the anime and everything like that. He is, of course, the exact opposite. He is extreme types. You got to bring an extreme team of rainbow types. You have all different types and everything. Um, and then it's HP attack and defense up 120% plus three key. Uh, now, his super is a little interesting because he will get, if after he supers for one turn, he will give all extreme types attack up 30%. If you notice the kanji right here for extreme types, for one turn, attack will go up 30%, which is pretty nice. So that is definitely something to keep in mind right there. And then if we go into his passive, his passive is basically his old passive, but a lot better updated, essentially. Uh, his own attack, Jibun no, attack up 120%. And all extreme types keep plus three, just like before, and extreme type uh, allies up defense up 50%. That's pretty nice. Kind of kind of just like um, the strength uh, ultimate Gohan, essentially. That's, that's essentially what it is. And then all enemy super types, only enemy super types, attack and defense down 20%. Now, of course, the big question is going to be, who do you pull for? Well, duh. Both, if you can. I mean, obviously, go by what team you have better. If you have more hero teams or more hero guys, then go for heroes. You go for Vegito Blue. If you have more villains, go for Rose. If you have both, go for both. We're going to have a pretty big sale. Don't forget, we're in a really big sale when it does come to it. I covered it in my previous video that I literally just posted about 10 minutes ago. Oh, I guess like a couple hours ago. But nonetheless, that's basically, it's going to be a really big sale, okay? It's, this is literally the big one. If you've ever wanted to do it now, Now's your chance, okay? So don't forget that. Now, moving on to the other characters that maybe you might not consider, but could actually be pretty decent. Now, I don't know if there is maybe some kind of story event going on with this. I doubt it. Since they all seem to be in-game summons, but uh, it is pretty nice. So first off, we've got this Agility Trunks, okay? He is an SR, so he's going to go up to an SSR, which kind of makes Rage Trunks now have a farmable super attack. Semi, at least, okay? If this wants to load up for me. Okay, so basically, Trunks is going to be key plus one, attack and defense up 25%, with the HP, of course, you're not going to use them for your leader skill. No, never. Uh, never. 
Um, and then he greatly raises, or he gets a big in attack increase for one turn every time he supers. So that's pretty nice, I guess. And then his passive is all super types get attack up 25%. So he's a decent leader skill, or a passive skill for, you know, support. But there's, of course, much better. I guess you could throw him on a, uh, you know, a Vegito Blue team as the support unit. But nowadays, support units are kind of fading out for some teams. So it's kind of hard to say there. Um, but yeah, I mean, cool. I guess I'm all for it. Uh, if we go into the STR one, which I'm definitely saying, it's got a Doken Awaken, so I'm guessing that is also going to be a summable SSR. He'll probably be the you know something you can pull from every banner after that, basically. Um, I doubt he'll be he would be Doken Fest exclusive. Obviously, Vegito Blue and Rose are going to be. So this Trunks, on the other hand, is all super types, HP attack and defense up 80%. Okay, that's just his Doken Awaken form. This is 120% right here. Okay. And then when he attacks, he gets a six for six turns. He his defense will be increased by thirty percent. Obviously, that can stack. It's a lot like SSJ four Goku's, so nothing special there. Um, his passive is very interesting. Actually, it is he mitigates damage by forty percent, and then he's got a mechanic very similar to the LR Bojack. And for this one, though, if you want to take a look at it, you'll notice this Skoshi Nai Hodo attack to defense up. A total of 120%. What does this mean essentially? The less eight, the less HP he has, the more attack and defense he gets. So Skoshi Knight, which means he's gonna have lowered attack, which means he's gonna at whatever you know a little bit of a HP is left, attack and defense up 120% at max. That is actually pretty wow. That's I guess that's a that that would be he'd be interesting to see. Yeah, so you've got the HP, so it's HP got Skoshi Knight. Okay, so not having a very, you know, very little amount of HP, essentially. So, that is, um, man, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting, I'm not going to say. So, and then, if we go over to the Zomas here, if this wants to go back for me, of course. Are you going to go back for me? There we go. Okay, uh, by the way, this is Agility Zomas real quick. He's just the opposite of the Agility Rage Trunks. It's just simply, uh, Extreme Types, Key Plus 1, HP Attack and Defense up 25%. And then, he gives Extreme Types... Uh, attack up 25%. That's basically it, okay? Uh, in terms of the Int Zomus here, so if we go into this one, and of course, again, if we want to load real quick, come on, you know you want to, buddy. Come on, come on, phone, you know you want to. Oh, Wi-Fi only. Okay, uh, just like the uh, uh, the Super Saiyan Rage Trunks as well, the STR one, this guy gives all extreme types HP attack and defense up 80%, and then he recovers 77% 70, of his HP when he super attacks, okay? So that's pretty good. Uh, for, yeah, for, yeah, HP o, nanaju pasento o, for, uh, Nana Pasento, oh, Fukatsu, Nana Ju would be 70%. I'm like, oh my gosh, recover 70% of your HP? This dude's a must, but no, that's not the case. It's only 7%. So, if we go into his passive, however, though, he's kind of the, again, he's the opposite of Trunks. He mitigates damage by 40%, and when your HP is high, okay, oi no ho do, okay, oi, this kanji right here next to HP, that means a lot. That means, oi means having a lot or, you know, Again, a lot of HP. Your attack and defense will be up by 60% at max. So having full HP, you'll have an HP and attack def or attack and defense boost of 60%. The more HP you lose, the more you lose, essentially. Again, complete opposite of Rage Trunks. So, all right. Kind of interesting. We'll have to see. I don't know if I'll pull him or not, but uh, we'll have to see just what he can do in the future right there. And I don't know why this is loading and why it's doing this real quick. So... Come on, you know you want to exit out. Oh, of course, we go back. Oh, I clicked on a link by accident. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Okay, come on. Go, go, go. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, global. But, but before I go over the Android and the Kimono real quick, uh, yeah, we're getting Vegito Blue. Or LR Vegito on the 10th of January. Now, of course, if you know, that was not, it's not in the news or anything yet. So we'll probably get that updated soon would be my guess. But we are, we so far we are up to his TUR version of the Vegito, the STR Vegito, which we're all assuming at this moment that he will go to Vegito Blue. But again, we actually don't know technically. So again, we're just guessing. We're all saying, yes, he is. It's 99% confirmed, but until we see that LR form, we can't really say it. But anyway, it, it's probably going to... It's 99% going to happen. But yeah. Um, yeah. JP's getting them. Called it. <laughs> it wasn't that much of a hard thing to call. Last thing we're going to go over, though. And by, oh, by the way, for the SCR Vegito, there's no changes. He's exactly the same from the global swaps that we saw. 
Let's go into the Kimono Android 18 real quick before we end the video real quick because there's, again, a lot of stuff to go over. Uh, she is an SSR. We're going to get her uh, just available from logging in so you don't have to worry about farming or anything like that. But basically, uh, everyone's attack and defense in HP or attack and defense up 30%. No HP on that one. Uh, if I made a mistake in my translation on that one, I don't think I did, but I'm not sure. Very interesting passive. Uh, she gives all types attack and defense up 20% and key plus one and... For every orb that she obtains, her own attack goes up by 8%. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Because if you look at the kanji right here, Jibun no. Jibun no attack up 8%. That is why it is her own. But she gives all allies attack and defense up 20% and key plus 1. And then you have the and symbol, which automatically cuts off that part of the passive for the allies. So she got the allies part and her own part. So that is why you will see that, and it's not going to be for every orb that everyone else obtains, they get 8% attack up. No, it's not like that. The 8% is for her only, and then the key and the attack and defense are for them, for your allies, okay? So that is going to be the last part of the Android 18 right there. Uh, other than that, though, we... Oh, wow. Uh, talk about your uh, Wi-Fi wi glitch. I'm not really sure what's going on, but yeah. Anyway, oh, you want to you wanna work for me here? Come on. You know you want to. There we go. Okay. But yeah, I mean, otherwise, though, your big goal is obviously going to go for Rose and Vegito Blue. Oh, wow. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. So yeah. And don't forget, guys, that at midnight Pacific Standard Time is when the STR Extreme Z Awakening for Brawly starts up because that is obviously 5 p.m. Or no, sorry. It's going to be... Wait, no. Midnight. Yeah, no. It's midnight. Uh, so 5 p.m. Uh... For Japan time, yes. So that is when the Extreme Z Awakening should be starting for both Brawly. Goku will be back as well. I'll be doing a video on that tomorrow, obviously. Uh, I won't get out right at the beginning because I'm back in the States. So I have to sleep and everything like that. But nonetheless, that stuff will be coming out. And let me know down in the comments below, guys. What do you want to see? Who do you want to pull? Are you going for Rose? Are you going for Vegeta Blue? Are you going for both? And none. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, Global, I'm assuming you're already going to be mad about the LR of Vegeta Blue. But hopefully there's a lot of level-minded people to say, like, it's the same game, guys, so it's going to become the same. You know, all these guys are going to, into the, both versions of the game, unless, you know, you're counting the Kaioken, uh, Super Saiyan Goku, and then obviously the hero cards. You know, the, maybe there will be some distinctions later on in the future, but as of right now, it was never stated that Vegito Blue was only for global and all that other stuff. So, yeah. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. And until next time, everyone, I will see you all in the next one.